Hello, and welcome to the programmable hurdy-gurdy. This system translates MIDI commands, whether from a file or a digital keyboard, into mechanical actions, as you can see before you. Now let's hear from Elliot about the hardware design of the system. So this is a short walkthrough of the components that make up the hurdy-gurdy. Starting from the left at the top, you can see how the string comes over the bridge and then touches the wheel. And moving more towards the right, you can see the tops of the fretting mechanisms which are used to change the notes. Zooming in on the wheel here, you see it's just a motor connected through an axle to the wheel. And this is used to play the string like how a bow plays a violin. Moving right, you can see the motor system to lift the frets. This is how we change the note to a higher pitch. It's made up of a simple cam follower system that plays on the strings up above. And then at the end here, the strings wrap around over the nut to the tuning heads. Moving on to the electronics, we can see that each motor is controlled by a driver board. The first two driver boards here control the four motors that fret the instrument, and the final driver board here controls the wheel. A Raspberry Pi outputs signals for both direction and speed via PWM. This four pack of batteries is used to power the motors. The Pi itself is connected over ethernet, which allows for remote control and access to the instrument. Hi, let's talk about the software for the programmable hurdy-gurdy. First up on our home screen, we have two options. We can either play recorded audio, such as MIDI files, or play live. Let's check out play recorded audio. On this page, you can upload a file of your choosing, let's say a G major scale, upload it to the system, and then start and stop it as you please. Back on the home page, we can look at Play Live. Here we can connect to our input device, such as my Casio keyboard. We can connect to the device, tap some keys, and then once we're done, disconnect.